Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to extrude from a sketch that contains multiple 2D shapes in Onshape. So uh, in this example what I'll do is I'll click on sketch to create a new sketch. I'll choose the top plane and I'm going to create a rectangle that's going to have a semicircle at the top of it. So I'll just start by creating a, a corner rectangle and I'm not too worried about the size so I'll just drag that out there. And there we go, we have a, a corner rectangle there. Now I can keep selecting other shapes to draw on. So there's two ways that I can create this uh, semicircle, uh, which I'm then going to extrude the whole, whole shape with. I can click on a uh, center point circle up here. So before clicking on the green tick to finish this sketch, I can click on a, another uh, type of shape to draw. And with the center point circle, I'm just going to move along this line until it snaps to the center point here. So we can see it's just sort of snapped there. I'll click and I'll move my mouse. So I've let go of the mouse by moving it and I'll move to one of these corners. So I'll just move to this corner and click again. And there we have a circle. Now I could click the green tick if I'm done. And then what will happen is when I click on extrude, I can select uh, both of these uh, faces, or all of the faces that I want to extrude, and I can just drag it up or down and I've extruded uh, all of those uh, shapes that I drew, okay? Or there's a, a couple of other ways of doing this, all right? So I'll just start that sketch again on the top plane. I'll, I'll draw out a rectangle. And uh, this time, instead of drawing a circle, I'm going to draw um, an arc and I'm going to choose a center point arc. All right. With that, I'll once again move my mouse to the center of that line there. So it's just a snap there. Click and I'm going to um, let go and then click on this corner here. And then I'm going to move my mouse and it's going to draw an arc and I'm going to click on the other opposite corner there. And now we've got uh, an arc. All right. And I can click on that green tick. Uh, once I'm done. If I wanted to, after I'd uh, finished drawing that sketch, if I wanted to add more shapes to it, I can still go back. I can just uh, right click on sketch one, click on edit, and then I could keep uh, adding to it if I wanted. So I could add another circle down this end, maybe um, using either the circle tool or the uh, arc tool or, um, or any of the other tools that I wanted. All right, so even when you've finished uh, drawing a sketch, you can still go back into it by uh, clicking on edit there. All right, so I'm going to select this whole sketch uh, this time. So rather than just clicking on uh, individual parts and maybe holding down the shift key to select individual parts, what I'll do is just click on the whole sketch, click on extrude, and then now I don't have to select the individual parts to extrude. I can just extrude it all in one go, just like that. And if I'm happy, click the green tick and it's done. So that's how to uh, create an ex extrusion from a, a single sketch that contains multiple uh, uh, shapes created with the different uh, 2D shape tools. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.